It was the morning of July 18, 1954. A large class of children were being taught at the Coptic School of St. Anthony, in Jerusalem. The school itself is situated less than a hundred yards from the Church of the Resurrection, where the Holy Sepulchre is venerated. The children attending St. Anthony's School were made up of Coptic Christians, Catholics, and Muslims. As the children began to prepare for the lesson to close for lunch, some of them happened to look out of the window. Some of them began to shout out, causing the other children to rush to the classroom window to see what the excitement was about. Across the school courtyard, floating in the sky was a lady, dressed in blue and surrounded by a dazzling bright blue and white light, which glowed around her. Shouts rang out from the children. The Virgin, the Virgin, they cried. All of the children saw the lady, however the teacher did not. The teacher tried to get them to return to their seats, but could not. The children refused to move away from the windows. So the school secretary was summoned. He could not see the lady either, despite every one of the children seeing her. Sternly, the secretary ordered the children back to their seats, believing their claims to be absurd. The classroom was back in order, the children were back in their seats. However the order did not last long. The lady appeared in the classroom among them. She floated and then walked across the floor. At first she appeared to be transparent, the children could see through her. As the lady moved, she became more and more visible and the light surrounding her, intensified. It was at this point that the adults in the room saw her. She stood before them for about five minutes and then disappeared. News of the apparition spread quickly. On the same day hundreds of people flocked to the classroom to see where the lady had appeared. A Coptic church, connected with St. Anthony of Egypt school, also experienced a mass increase of visitors and pilgrims. On the 25th of July, 1954, more than 300 people were celebrating a service in the Coptic Patriarchal Church. As the priest was conducting the service, all of the people began to shout out. The priest looked up in the direction that the celebrants were focused. He saw what they were seeing. He, and everyone else attending clearly saw the Virgin Mary moving first above the heads of all of the people, and then coming down, and moving among them. She was not transparent. Rays of colored light streamed out from her, bathing tear-stained faces with colors as well as the church walls. The apparition lasted for about a quarter of an hour. Some people ran from the church calling passers-by, to come inside and see her. The church was full, there was hardly any standing room left. What makes this apparition significant, is that there were so many witnesses to it. The Lady, our Blessed Mother, slowly began to become transparent and fade, until only the white and blue aura remained. That too, diminished and disappeared. Many reporters from different magazines and international and local broadcasting stations reported the vision. St. Anthony's Monastery, in Jerusalem, became a shrine where thousands of people came to visit. Many healing miracles were accompanied by this apparition. The two apparitions took place during a time of Arab and Israeli troubles, which in 1955 escalated, especially in the region of the Golan Heights. Responding to Arab threats of invasion, Israel made an attack on Egyptian territory leading to the conquering of the Gaza Strip. An account of the two apparitions appeared in the Coptic Patriarchal Journal. The bishop believed that our Blessed Mother did not come for them personally. But, because the place is holy, being within a few yards of, Calvary. After the apparitions, the classroom where Our Lady first appeared, was painted blue, to match the color of her dress. An icon, of the Virgin Mary, was placed on the wall, in front of which she had appeared. Outside, the window a plaque, records the event.